Welcome back to our channel. In this lecture we will learn about the extrinsic semiconductors. Please don't forget to give your feedback after watching this video. We also request you to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to receive notifications. The last lecture it covers about the energy band of the semiconductors. The intrinsic semiconductor has little current conduction capability at room temperature. To change the conducting properties, the pure semiconductor will be added with small amount of suitable impurities. After adding the impurities with intrinsic or pure semiconductors, it is called as extrinsic semiconductors. The process of adding impurities to a semiconductor is known as doping. In general, for 10 to the power of 8 atoms of semiconductor, one impurity atom is added. The significance of adding impurity is to increase either the number of free electrons or holes in the semiconductor crystal. Pentavalent impurity that is the atom which is having 5 valence electrons, are added to have more free electrons. The pure semiconductors added with pentavalent impurities are known as n-type semiconductor. N stands for negative. Typical examples of pentavalent impurities are arsenic and antimony. Such impurities are known as donor impurities. When external voltage is applied across the n-type semiconductor, the free electrons, which is donated by impurity, in the crystal will be directed towards the positive terminal, constituting electric current. As the current flow through the crystal is by free electrons which are carriers of negative charge, therefore, this type of conductivity is called negative or n-type conductivity. It may be noted that conduction is just as in ordinary metals like copper. Next one is p-type semiconductors. Trivalent impurity that is the atom which is having three valence electrons, creates holes in the semiconductor crystal. The pure semiconductors added with trivalent impurities are known as p-type semiconductor. P stands for positive. Typical examples of trivalent impurities are gallium and indium. Such impurities which produce p-type semiconductor are known as acceptor impurities because the holes created can accept the electrons. Let us consider that gallium is added with germanium atom. Gallium has three valence electrons in its atomic structure. Each atom of gallium fits into the germanium crystal but now only three covalent bonds can be formed. When the external voltage is applied to the p-type semiconductor, the holes, donated by the impurity, are shifted from one covalent bond to another. As the holes are positively charged, therefore, they are directed towards the negative terminal, constituting what is known as hole current. It may be noted that in p-type conductivity, the valence electrons move from one covalent bond to another unlike the n-type where current conduction is by free electrons. It is because three valence electrons of gallium atom can form only three single covalent bonds with three germanium atoms as shown in figure. In the fourth covalent bond, only germanium atom contributes one valence electron while gallium has no valence electron to contribute as all its three valence electrons are already engaged in the covalent bonds. With neighboring germanium atoms. In other words, fourth bond is incomplete, being short of one electron. This missing electron is called a hole. Therefore, for each gallium atom added, one hole is created. A small amount of gallium provides millions of holes. The current conduction in p-type semiconductor is predominantly by holes that is positive charges and is called p-type or hole type conductivity. Thank you for watching this video.